Let me tell you why gratitude has improved my life and how this five minute practice actually works to help you live happier and healthier every single day. Hey legends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow and I'm the traveling scientist, currently living in Melbourne, Australia. And on this channel, we explore science-based ideas and techniques to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Now, I actually started practicing gratitude about three years ago now, when I was traveling by myself around Canada. And I just moved to a new town. I was feeling a little bit lonely, a little bit sad for myself. So I needed a daily routine to shake me from my negative headspace. That's when I discovered the practice of gratitude journaling. Basically, every day I would write down the things that I'm grateful for and take a moment to really appreciate those things. Now, at first, this sounded a little bit lame, you know, why do I need to write these things down? I already know them in my head, but I decided to try it anyway, and it actually really worked. Within a few days, my negative attitude had disappeared, I was feeling way more positive, and it actually encouraged me to go out and keep traveling and live my life. Three years later, I'm still practicing gratitude every single day, and it's awesome. So what is gratitude? Well, to put it simply, gratitude is being thankful and showing appreciation for what you have in life. It's reminding yourself that life is actually pretty good. It might not be perfect, but overall, we're pretty lucky. If you're not starving, if you've got a roof over your head, and if you've got something to watch this YouTube video on, you've got things to be grateful for. Now, if you're a logical person like me, you might be thinking that this gratitude thing sounds a bit woo-woo, and you'd be right. But there is so much scientific evidence out there proving that gratitude makes you more happy, less stressed, and even more friendly. For example, a study in 2003 split participants into three different groups. One group was asked to journal about something they're grateful for every day. One group was asked to journal about something annoying every single day. One group was asked to journal about anything they want every single day. And after several weeks, the participants were asked how they feel. And the group that had been practicing gratitude returned noticeably higher happiness scores. And they also felt physically better with less aches and pains. And they even reported that they'd been doing more exercise than normal. So just the act of practicing gratitude made them feel compelled to just get outside and go for a run or do some exercise, which has a whole other host of benefits. Another research paper in 2008 looked at gratitude, stress, and depression, and showed that people who practice gratitude regularly showed much lower levels of stress and were much less likely to suffer from depression. Finally, another study in 2008 looked at how gratitude impacted relationships, and they discussed how practicing gratitude promotes social behavior and helps to develop and maintain relationships with fellow human beings. So that's just some of the evidence that proves the benefits of gratitude. And there's a bunch of studies out there looking at how gratitude physically changes the brain, but it can get a bit complicated. You don't need to know all that stuff. All you need to know is that practicing gratitude every single day can be extremely beneficial. Now let me show you how you can achieve these benefits and more in just five minutes. Here's how I practice gratitude every morning. You can feel free to copy me or find your own way. I wake up, I make a cup of tea, and I sit down somewhere quiet. I like to sit at my desk. Next, I grab a piece of paper and a pen, and then I'll start writing what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my family. They made me who I am. I'm grateful for Spotify. It lets me listen to music every day. And I'm grateful for the sunshine. It's because it's such a beautiful day outside. And you can write about little things like a flower in your garden, or big things like your best friend whatever you want, but you need to actually write it down and really focus on it. Take a moment to imagine the thing that you're writing about and truly appreciate it. Finally, if you want to take it a little bit further, I also like to write down a few things that I just generally think are awesome. Things like puppies, coffee, the beach, you know, stuff that genuinely makes me smile. Finally, I've got three tips and tricks to help you make this a regular daily habit. Tip one is to start small. Just write one or two things and don't overthink it. Just make sure you do it every day because it will be easier to form a habit in the long run if it's quick and easy for you in the short term. Second tip is to use an app to build the habit. Reflectly is a good one. It's totally free and it tracks your mood and gives you prompts to help you reflect and improve on your overall well-being. And tip number three is if you prefer, you can type it up on your computer. It'll save paper and it's also a little bit quicker. Gratitude allows you to feel more positive emotions. 
more pleasure, more optimism, more happiness, and it makes you more compassionate, more generous, and more content with your life. And this is because by practicing gratitude every single day, you're intentionally focusing on positive and grateful thoughts, thereby eliminating negative and ungrateful thoughts. And as a result, we see everything in life as new and exciting. So I'll finish with this quote. Gratitude is both the most pleasant of virtues and the most virtuous of pleasures. Being grateful isn't just something you do. It's a way of life. And I really hope that this video helps you to appreciate that and to start your own daily gratitude practice. So let me know what you're grateful for in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.